Hello. So welcome to this task, the Zara S03 kit. In today's task, we will do justice to the whole concept of kit. Um, so um, most people misunderstand the concept git and GitHub. So let me simply explain what it means in a very simple way. So Git is actually a tool that we use to manage multiple versions of our source code, right? We edit them and then we transfer them to a Git repository. And then a GitHub is actually the remote location where we have our source codes being uploaded to the repositories. So let me bring it down a bit. So GitHub is like the remote server, and then Git is the local server. So when we write our codes from Git, we push them up to the GitHub. Simple, that is what it means. Okay. Now, in today's task, I will guide us from the start to finish. And so you need to pay keen attention because Git and GitHub is what you'll be using throughout your career as a software engineer. All right, so let's just dive in into the task. So if today is your first time of coming across our video online, please do where to subscribe. And then also tap the notification button so that once you upload a new video, you'll get notified. And I tell you, you're gonna need this channel throughout your journey in ALS Africa. All right, so do where to subscribe. And if you have any issue with any of our code, you can just um, and put in the comments or uh, contact us on social media and we'll do justice to that. Let's go ahead and look at our task for today. So we'll start with the quiz questions. Uh, the first question is what command can you use to see what changes have been staged, which haven't, and which files aren't been tracked by kids? So that command is key status. This status, that's it. Uh, the next question says, you've edited the Zero Writing Test and you want to add it to a GitHub repo. What is the correct command to add only the Zero Writing Test? The correct command is git add zero hyphen test. Git add zero hyphen test. All right, let's go to our task. So the first thing is to create and set up a Git and GitHub account. And to do that, simply click here to sign up if you've not done that, but I'm sure that a lot of us have done that already. So I will just skip this step, but if you've not, please click here, set up your account. Make sure you note your email address, especially if you have multiple, and also note your username because you will need it later on as we progress in this task. Now, the next thing they want us to do is to create a personal access token on GitHub. So let's just go ahead and do that. So this is my GitHub account. Here, I will just go to this drop down by the profile picture and then go to settings. And then from there, we are going to develop our setting, click on develop our setting. And from there, we'll use the personal access token classic. Make sure you use classic, not the fine grain. And from here, we're going to click on generate new token, and then we're going to use a classic token. All right. Here, give it a name. I'll just see LS projects, and then I'll just check everything because it's a public key for now. Since I'm using it for this project, so I'll just check everything. So please go ahead and just check um, all the boxes. Great, so create and generate. Voila. So here we have your token. Copy this token. Once you close this session, or once you leave this page, you will not have access to this guy again. So make sure to save your token where you will see it. All right, make sure to save it where you will see it. So whenever you need it, you can always go back because you will always need this token to flow you are recording and you have a new you need to play. Now let's go ahead and see what they want us to do next. 
step two, they say you should update your profile on the internet. So click here, my profile, and go ahead to update your profile. Or you can click here to update your profile. Why do you need to update your profile? You need to put your GitHub username there. So update your profile by adding your GitHub username. Now, the next thing they want us to do is to create our repository. So they say we should create a repository, and the name of the repository should be ALS, I think, zero underscore B. So I will just copy the name, and then we'll head up to a GitHub to create a repository. So from this plus sign, click on the drop down new repository, and then the name of the repository is ALS, I think, zero underscore B. I will have a description. So let's go ahead and copy our description. And um, I will just paste it here under the description. So go ahead and create your repository here, just after the description. Okay. So here we have our repository created ALS at its every day. Now let's see what they want us to do next. So here, Let's say we should open our sandbox. So here you're going to open a sandbox. So once you click, get a sandbox, get a sandbox, click on it. You should have something like this web term, click on web term, and a sandbox will be open to you. So that's where you're going to do your part. All right. Now let's go ahead. I'm not going to be using sandbox for this. I'm going to use it using my Ubuntu. So let's go ahead. So on the internet, just under the task, click on the button. Get samples and run to start the machine. Once the container is started, click on web term to open a share where you can start working from current. Now, step five, they want us to clone our repository. On the web term of the samples, do they follow you clone your repository? So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to clone our repository. And to do that, we're going to use the command git clone. So git clone space. HTTPS column double forward slash, and then we're going to paste our personal access token. So I'll just copy mine now and paste here. So once that is done, we are going to put in at github.com forward slash your username. And then the name of your repo. So I'll just copy this from my username here, all the way to dot it, and go ahead and paste it in, then enter. Okay, so now they say unable to, oh, okay, there was an error. So let's see why. Let me bring back my code. So git clone, HTTPS is. And um, so HTTPS it of dot com. So that is not a comma, it's dot. So after the at GitHub, so is dot com. Git of dot com. So let's enter again. So here we have cloned our repository. Right. So it's at github.com, not command com. That was my error. Let's go ahead and cd into our new repository to make sure that we actually clone it. So ALS, I think is already. So here we are. So if you ls to see that you have nothing there, let's clear our terminal. Now let's see what they want us to do next. Um, so they want us to um, um so we've created a repository with um clone a repository. So the next thing they want us to do is to create um the file readme.md with the content my first with me. So let's copy this my first with me. They will now create a readme inside the ALS 0 j Repository. So let's do that. So we're going to use the echo command. You remember this command echo, and then we'll paste in. Um, sorry, I need to copy that again. Uh, 
and then close it, then greater than sign red mean dot n. So this is case sensitive, you have to make sure you are careful. So ls to see here we have a red mean dot n. Now let's see what they want us to do next. Here they say we should update our identity or git identity. Now, why do we need to update our git identity? This is the command git clone, git config, sorry. Because we need to send, um, we need to push our work to the git hub. Now, for us to be able to do that, we need to make sure that we verify our email and our username with the git hub so that when we push, it will go through. If not, if you are not able to verify these details, we cannot push your code from your Git terminal to your GitHub terminal. All right. So let's go ahead and, and indicate that this is our email. So we're going to use our email. So, so this is the command. git config global user.email and enter for the email. And then git config global user.name with our username, with our username, fine. So here we are good, all right. So let me just go ahead and, okay, it's just a fact clear. Let me see what the want us to do in this. So add this new file to git, commit the changes to the command, with the commit message, my first commit, all right. So let's copy this message. Always make sure you check out for, um, what their commit message is. If they don't give any commit message, then you can use yours. So here, yeah, let's go ahead and hit add. So we want to push to our repo, our public, um, our GitHub account. So git add space dots, and then git commit fn n, and then single quotes. Let's post paste our commit message and enter. So let's see if we're able to connect to GitHub. So it's push. If this goes to, that means we're able to. So beautiful, we're able to push to our main branch. So let's go ahead and see if it's updating. We should see our readme.mg file. Yeah, so here it is updated. Now let's go ahead and continue with our task. So what is the next thing you want us to do? Um, so congratulations, the first file in my first repository on the first time such your ALS has been pushed, okay? So here, go ahead and check your code. Your code should be okay, all right. Now let's go to our next task. Our next task is to create a new file, a new directory called 0x03git, and then we should create it. And then we should also include a redmi.mz in our directory. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our directory and then create the redmi.mz inside the directory. So remember the command mkdir space the name of the directory we want to create and enter. So now we're going to cd into our new directory. And then we're now going to use the echo command to write into our redmi.md file. So echo will just use my second redmi because it didn't give us what to put in my second redmi. And then the greater than sign, then redmi.md. So ls to see, yes, so we have it there. So let's clear our terminal. Great. So let's see what next they want us to do. They say make sure to include a non-empty readme in your repo at the root of your uh, repository and then at the root of your directory. Okay, so we are done with this. Go ahead and check your code. Your code should be all uh, good. All right. So question two, here they say we want to start coding. Now create these files, create these directories at the root of your project, and then create these empty files inside. Okay, so here we're going to create bash j, js, and c inside our 0s03 git folder. 
So let's go ahead and do that. We already inside as our as our first folder. If you are not there already, just CD into it. So CD and then the name of the folder. So here we're just going to create a directory and to create a directory is NKGIRO space the name of the folder, bash space C space JS. So we're creating the three folders at once, bash, JS, and C. Enter. So if we LS, you should see that we have three folders inside here. Okay. So let's see what next I want us to do. They say we should create a file called c is phone.c, main.js, and index.js. Okay, so we're, this file called c, um, forward slash c is phone is going to be inside the c folder, and this is going to be inside the js folder, this is going to be inside the js folder. So to do that, we we'll just use the command push and then c forward c underscore is phone dot c so c is phone dot c enter and then the next one we're going to do is js index dot js oh sorry the touch command we need to include the touch command so touch don't forget that. Yeah. So let's create the next file, which is main.js. Okay. I think it's done just as that. So if we cd to c, our ls, we should see that we have a folder for c is found inside. And if we cd to js, we should see that we have two files there for index.js and main.js. All right. So we're good to go. Now, the next thing they want us to do is to create a file called ALS inside the bash directory or folder with these two new lines called the share bank and then the echo ALS. So let me just copy this and then go ahead to create our file. So to do this, let's use the vi command. So we're going to use vi. So let's see the first to our bash directory and then uh, okay, so we have to cd back first. We're inside the JS folder. So cd to bash. And then vi, we're going to use the vim to create our ALS file so that we're able to write inside. So enter now i to insert. And we're going to paste this and then copy this also and paste inside. All right, so enter and paste. So to exit and save, we're going to use escape column WQ, enter. Okay, so let's see what they want us to do next. Now they want us to create the file called school and inside the file, we should also write these two lines inside. So let's go ahead and do that same inside the batch directory. So we're going to do VIM again and then school, enter. So I to insert, I to enter the insert mode. So we'll paste this, then let's copy this file and paste. So let's go ahead and paste this file and then escape column WQ. So we are done with this. So if we cut, ALS, you should see that we'll have this inside. If we cut school, you should see that we'll have this inside. All right. So we're good to go. Let's see what's next they want us to do. Now they say that we should commit. And then this is a commit message starting to code today. So cool. OK. So it's a commit message. Let's go ahead and hit add, remember? So I, we have to cd back to our main directory. So cd dot dot to get back to our main directory so that we can push everything to the data. So let's go ahead and hit add space um, git commit hyphen m single quotes. All right, then 
So I had to paste this. Now we are going to git push. So git push. All right. So now since you get push, if you go to a repository, you should have your new files listed in your repository. Okay, so here you can see that we have our new files listed in our repository. So that we are done with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our next task. So our next task says that a branch is like a copy of your project. It's used mainly for adding a future in development, collaborating on the same project with other developers, not breaking your entire repository, not upsetting your co-workers. The purpose of the branch is to isolate your work from the main code base of your project and or from your co-workers work. For this project, create a branch called object script. And in this branch, create an empty file named bash for slash 98. Okay. So here we've been working in our main branch, which is um, the origin branch or the master branch or the main branch. Okay. So for us to know that we've been working in our main branch, if we do git branch now as a command, you will see that we'll have just the main branch here. So now they want us to isolate the code. So here we're going to create a new branch. So we're going to create a new branch called of this script. And the command is git branch, git branch, then the name of the branch, which is of this script. So enter. So if we do git branch now, you see that we have two branch. But you see that this is the one that is highlighted because this is the one we're presently working in. Now for us to shift to this new branch, we're going to use the, the command git checkout and then the name of the branch. So here we're going to say git checkout and then we're checking out into the update script. So if we do git branch again, you'll see that now this update script is highlighted. Good. Now let's go ahead and create our file, which is 98 inside the bash folder. So we're just going to cd to bash. And then we're going to use the touch command to create a folder called 98. Beautiful. So ls to see that we have 98 inside. Now you see that everything that was in your former branch was copied to the new branch. So we're going to add new features into this branch. But everything that we have in our main branch is also copied into the update script branch. All right. So let's go ahead and continue with our. Now they say that update bash ls by replacing echo ALS with echo well, ALS code. So we're going to change echo ALS inside our file ALS and replace it, replace this particular line echo ALS with echo ALS code. So let's see how to do that. So here, since we're already inside the bash folder, we're just going to do VI ALS. And then here we see that we have ALS code here and they say we should replace it with ALS code. We have echo ls, so we're going to replace it ls. So that's all they want us to do. So just delete that line and then add this one and save and exit. So the next thing is to go into the school, bash school, and replace echo school with echo school is open. So let's go ahead and do that. So same thing, vim, then the name, which is um school. I to enter in search mode, we we'll delete this and then we'll write in a new code. All right. So let's go ahead to save and exit. Good. I think we are done with this. Now they say add and commit these changes. And then the commit message is my personal one. So I'm going to push this. Okay. Now let's go ahead and push this. So we're going to hit. Add box go and um, so git commit. So I'm not um I, I did see the bar because the only changes we have is in our bash folder. But if you want to be in a safe side, you can just go back to um um cd back to the git zero 
903 bits and then commit from there. But I can do it from there because the only changes I have is from the batch folder. So let's go ahead and type in our commit message. And then hit push. Okay, so here you see that there's there's a challenge. We've been using git push all the while because we we're in our main branch. Now we are in another branch, which is a branch of the main branch of this script. For us to be able to push, you have to use this command language, git push, and then set upstream origin, then the name of the branch. So I, I already told you that the main branch is either you call it origin, you call it master, or you call it main. So git push set upstream, the name of the main branch, and then the name of the branch you want to push from. So that is all we have here. So here we're able to push. All right. So if we check now, we should see that we have two branches now. Let's um, refresh. We have two branches now. We have the main branch, and then we have the update script. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what they want us to do next. I believe this is getting exciting, really exciting. Now, if you've not subscribed, you want to um, do so. You know, that is the best you can do for us for um, this work we are putting in for you. Just subscribe and then also uh, click the notification bell. All right, thank you. Now, they say, perfect. You did an amazing update in your project and it's isolated early from the main branch. Oh, wait. Your manager needs a big fix in your project and it needs to be deployed now. Change the branch to main, update the file, um, batch ALS by replacing echo school with echo ALS school is so cool. Okay. So here we have to now switch again to the main branch. Remember the command. So let's clear our terminal. Now the command to see the back, to change back is git checkout I hope you've not forgotten checkout and then the name of the branch is time is main so git checkout main so if we do git branch now we should be in our main branch beautiful is highlighted so now let's go ahead and cd into our batch folder and then they say from the batch folder, we should do what? We should go into ALS file and then change um, echo ALS with this other one. Okay. So let's go ahead, VIM ALS, then I to enter the insert mode. So we're going to delete this and then type in the new message. Yeah. So let's save and exit. That is done. So the next thing they say we should delete the directory chairs, then commit their changes. So we're going to have this commit message for this. So let's go ahead and delete the file chairs. So let's cd back to our main directory. And then we're going to use the rom rf to delete. So before ls now you see that we don't have the js folder again. Now we're going to add. So git add and then git commit fnm single quote with a commit message outfit outfits. Sorry, that's all. Enter and then git. Push here when the main branch so we can push using using the git push command. Okay, that is done. Let's clear our terminal. I always love to clear my terminal. Now, what is the next thing they want us to do? Is to check our code. So let's go ahead and check our code. So everything is fine. Let's move to the next task. Now the next task they say collaboration. Um, collaboration, so be up to date. Now they say, of course, you can also work on the same branch as your co-workers, and it's best if you keep up to date with the changes. 
For this tax, and only for this tax, please update your file read with an MD in the main branch from github.com is the only time you are allowed to update and commit from GitHub interface. After you have done that in your terminal, get all the changes of the main branch locally. That is your readme.md file with the update. Create a new file, update up to date at the root of your directory, and in it, write the git commit line used. Okay. So here, we're going to go to our GitHub account, and then we're going to edit our readme.md file. So click the pen icon, and let's just edit. So here, we're just going to see um, readme, my first readme, um, let's see, updated copy and then we have to commit changes. Okay, so we've changed, we've been able to edit our readme.md. Now they say we should have, we should get all the changes of the main branch locally. So how do we do that? Since we are already in the main branch, we are going to use the command git pull to pull from our GitHub into our existing our um our terminal to be able to have the changes. Now let me explain this. If you cut readme.md now, you see that we still have um the message my second readme for this particular one. Now if we see the back. And then we cut our readme.md again. You see that we still have this, my first readme. Now, what they want us to do is to make sure that we update that my first readme to this, which we have in our git of now. So for us to be able to do that, we're going to use a command git pull to pull down this particular update. So if we use the command git pull now, git pull now, now we've been able to pull. Now let's see if we've been able to pull. If we cut readme.md again, it should be updated. Yes. So now you see that there's a difference between this and this. So that is what I say we should do. So let's clear our terminal and then go ahead to see what they want us to do with us. So the next thing they say we should do is they say we should create a file. We should create a new file up to date at the root of our directory. And in it, we should write git, the git command line use. Okay. So here, we're going to cd into our 0x03. And then we're going to create a new file called no, up to date. Let me just be sure. Up to date. Let me copy this. Up to date. So paste up up to date. Okay. So now we have to cd. Let's use the vim. So up to date and then GI so that we can write the command we use to pull, and the command line is what? It's git pull. That was what we used to get the changes locally. So that's all you need to write inside the file called up to date. So escape, column, WQ to save and exit. So if you cut up to date now, you should have the git pull um, command inside. That is all they want us to do here. Now they say add up to date to git commit, and then the message should be how to be up to date in git. And then we can then push to our data. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to git add. Um, yeah. 
its part and then its components I fill in. And then it's push. I know it should be um conversant with this command already. So let's go ahead and clear our time. All right. So let's check our code. So everything is okay. Hot test passed. Let's see the next one. So the next one says collaboration is cool, but not really when you update the same file at the same time. So it is true that please mesh the branch of the script to main. Cool. All my changes will be now part of the main branch, ready to be deployed. Okay, so let's go ahead and git mesh. So the command is um git match. Okay. So, um, what is the next thing they want us to do? Okay, so for this file, um, here it's saying that um, it's already up to date because I'm using Ubuntu. I'm not using um, a sandbox terminal, so it's it updates the branch automatically. What I'm going to do for us is I'm going to put in the steps. Um, they are very simple steps. I'll put in the steps in the video description to be able to fix the conflict. Because here, we are going to have a little conflict to fix. So I will show you from the um, description how you need to fix this conflict. It's a very simple thing. And once you fix the conflict, um, you'll be able to get out push and then it should be good to go. Because you say you are going nice to remove conflicts by using the version of the branch of the script. So simply what it means is that you need to then um, open your file. So when you when you try to get merged, it's going to give you conflicts. And then so you're going to DI into the ALS file inside the bash folder. And then you will delete everything apart from the share bank. The share bank is the hash I think bash four slash bin and then you delete everything and leave the version of the update script which is ALS school is um so good on. so I'm going to check that and then I'll put in the description for you to use and once that is done um you just go ahead and get another push all right and then you should be able to check that code and then the last one says create a git ignore file and define a rule to never push. Okay. Now we're going to create a file called git ignore. And then, so git ignore simply, it's that file that ignores files and then make sure that they are not pushed to the GitHub repository. So we're going to create this file and then we're creating inside the um, 0 x 3 git repository. So let's go ahead and git push and paste. Enter. Now, if we ls, you are not going to see this file because it's a git ignore file. It's not visible, it's an hidden file. But if we do vi, vim dot git ignore, you will see that the file is there. So let's open it. Now we're going to define a rule that we say that don't push this file to GitHub. And so we're going to use the TUD. You know what the TUD is? This is the TUD. No, that's that sign. This is the TUD. All right. So we're going to use this, this sign here. It's called the TUD. Now go ahead and um, go ahead, save, and this it. All right. So once you do this, you remember you are not pushing this because even if you push, it's not going to respond to it. So just go ahead and um, check your code. Just put it here, there, save and exit. Go ahead and check that code, and you should be going to go. Yeah, so this is the end of our task. Um, thank you for staying through to the end for Crystal 5. I've looked at the description of this video and sort out Crystal 5. Uh, make sure to subscribe and then um, check us in your next times.